So much of the schedule still in front of us, Steve. However, some teams are really struggling early here. Yeah, Kevin, um, and those teams, they can't lose their confidence because it's a long season. And sometimes you just don't have the talent to beat other teams. But you must stay focused and try to get better every night. A look at Atlanta's opening lineup. They've got Trey Young, Otto Porter Jr. out there with Clint Capella. Then it's Paul George, and it's Barnes at the three. Nice shot by Smith. Great dive from Kuzma there, assessing the situation and making the right play. George finds Porter, shoots over Kuzma. No good that time. And Detroit the other way now. They're coming into this game off that recent loss to Atlanta. I'll tell you, they played hard, they drew fouls, but they could not convert at the line. You know what happens. You start to miss a few. You develop a lack of confidence, and suddenly it becomes contagious. And there's the whistle. Three-second violation. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And right out of the gate, trying to set the tone defensively, you got to love that energy. And it's Smith with the ball. He brings it up for the Pistons. It's a three-point game. Outside Garland. Kuzma with a screen on Young. There's Garland. Here's Smith, and Smith with the stuff. Super work on the boards. They really want to put their foot down on him now. Yeah, and once you got him on the ropes, Greg just keeps swinging away. You know why? Because this defense is really... They had to stop there but couldn't secure the rebound. They're still looking for answers. Now, here's Cunningham after the miss from Trey Young. Cunningham gets the bucket. Look at the handles from the big guard. Cunningham just makes things happen. And like a lot of top picks, Kay Cunningham had to deal with some adversity in his rookie season. Greg, he had been part of winning teams for his entire life. He was introduced to just how competitive the NBA is. But he says it's only sharpened his focus. Here's Garland after Clint Capella's bucket. Smith sets the pick for Cunningham. Capella against Smith. And then Cunningham with the dunk. Powerful jam by Cunningham, letting everyone know he can get physical. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, earlier I spoke with Dwayne Casey. He told me they'll be looking to stretch the defense with their ability to knock down shots from deep. He said success on the outside they translate to success on the inside. Sounds like instead of going inside out, we're going to go outside in. Interesting. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. Always want to get those threes falling consistently. Here's Young. Darius Garland picking up that last basket. Capella kicks to Barnes. Young outside. Takes a three. Can't hit that one. And Detroit the other way. Bridges finds Kuzma. The Pistons working the ball around now. Right on the bucket. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. The Hawks trail by eight. Young pass to Barnes. Outside Porter. Lob pass to George. Oh, and they get in the way of the alley-oop. Not to be. Good play defensively. And there's the pass to Garland. Cunningham left side. And the layup's good off the glass. Cunningham's got six. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Hawks have gone two of six from the field. Young looking it over. Kuzma against Porter. Pass to George. Six on the shot clock. And Cunningham with the block. Oh, the length of Cunningham. A real advantage on both ends of the floor. Kuzma outside. 
And a miss there on the triple. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Hawks. Trailing by 10. And that one's good by Porter. This is where I like to see Porter spend more of his time looking for his shot in the painted area. And now the first time out called here for Detroit. look here for the Pistons. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Smith. Stewart comes in for Kyle Kuzma. Kyle Anderson, he's checked in for Cade Cunningham. And it's Jalen Brunson in for Garland. And then for Atlanta, Okongwu's checked in for Clint Capella. Bogdan Bogdanovich comes in for Otto Porter Jr. And Heald subbed in for George. Pistons leading by eight. Bridges kicks to Stewart. To the inside. And the dunk by Stewart. And what a way to start this game. Dominating at both ends of the floor. They came in prepared, focused, and really jumped on the other team early. Now, here's Bogdanovich. He had 10 points in the win against Detroit. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed it. AGA, what about these Hawks? They can really be fun to watch. Yeah, and they just need to be more consistent, Kevin. It seems they can beat anyone on any day. If they can start doing that regularly, we're talking about big things in the future. Okongwu dishes to Young. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Anderson with the ball, and Young picks him up defensively. Passes it to Stewart. Now here's Anderson. Over Young. Anderson's shot is off. The Hawks trail by 13. Heeled outside. Young passes to Barnes. Five to shoot. And Bogdanovich kicks to Barnes. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Here's Stewart. Banked in off the glass. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Blake Pollard has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Healed outside. One twenty-seven left in the first. Pass to Young. Shot to stop the run. It's deflected with his length and terrific instincts on the defensive end. Stewart is a solid shot blocker. Anderson dishes to Bridges. Pistons passing it around. The 10 foot. Again, the Pistons score. And a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Pistons. They are making a statement so far on the defensive end. Sending shots away in incredible fashion. Loving the hustle. And another thing, guys, they've been very active tonight. Frequently creating scoring opportunities off turnovers. 
Out of bounds. Detroit takes possession. Jones check in for Atlanta. Williams comes in for Young. Detroit leading by 17. Anderson right side. And he uses the glass on the lane. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. Williams passes to Bogdanovich. Williams a screen on Anderson. The kick out to Williams. And once again off the mark by Atlanta. And here's Brunson. They'll bring it up for the Detroit Pistons. There's the line to the hoop. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And they have owned the paint so far. And the score reflects it. I'll tell you, this was their strategy coming in. They obviously identified a weakness there inside. Here's Williams. And the length and quick feet allow Bridges to match up defensively against almost anyone on the floor. And so it's the Detroit Pistons with a 21-point lead to end the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. So far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in a second. And a comfortable margin for the Pistons here, guys. I love their effort. Contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. And you can see it's already having an impact. It can cause shooters to think twice. The Hawks trail by 21. We've got Isaiah Stewart. Cunningham is out there with Garland. Then there's Kyle Kuzma, and it's Smith in at the center. That's the group for Detroit right now. Detroit with the ball. A 21-point lead, the biggest in the game. Following this one, they get to host the Warriors. That'll be the last of three straight at home for the team. Garland against Williams. Fades. No good off the front iron. Garland's gone one of three from the field here. Porter finds Williams. On the wing, Jones. No good on the three. They have been board dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. Jones against Kuzma. Poked away. Clock at four. On deep. Atlanta with the rebound. They put up a nice win against Detroit the last time out. Well, on the road, you don't expect to look so comfortable on the offensive end, but that was the story of the game. Yeah, they looked right at home, except they weren't. Great job of blocking out the noise. Now, Garland following the three-point attempt by Lou Williams. Cunningham against Jones. Cunningham's shot is off. Right idea, but just too much heat on him defensively, even with the fadeaway. Well, in spite of the critics and the injuries, Paul George continues to produce one of the league's truly elite players. Now here's Jones. The Hawks again can't hit. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. Garland, the pass to Smith. Garland attacking. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's on Lou Williams. And you mentioned the injuries for Paul George. Uh, let's see, GA, the broken leg, shoulder surgeries, last season a torn elbow ligament. And, and I'm sure there are a few others, Kevin, <laughs> but give him credit. To, to battle through and maintain his greatness tells you something about his competitive will. They throw good. Garland. So for the Hawks. Barnes comes in for Herbert Jones. 
Young is subbed in for Williams. Oh, free throws good from Garland. And Garland, a finalist for most improved player of the year in 2022, took a huge leap forward with his play. Now here's Barnes. He picked up 15 points in the last one against Detroit. And buckets like that have been hard to come by. Not the most exciting game. Both sides look way off in terms of their shooting. You have to give credit to the defenses protecting the rim, closing out hard. This one's been a grind. And then Smith with the dunk. A unique talent. Cunningham has the size of a wing and the skill of a point. For Garland, he put in the work, and it all came together for him, G.A. And his shooting reached a tipping point. It was given the keys as a playmaker, and this is a great situation for him and what he's made the most of. Hands it from short range. Cunningham's got eight points. Showing confidence with the pull-up. Cunningham has the ability to free himself up and the size to rise above the deep. Back to Capella. Smith with the defensive effort. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. Kuzma passes to Cunningham. And Trey Young gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. And the next one puts him in the bonus. Bruno Fernando's checked in for Atlanta. Bruno Fernando. Smith with a screen on Young. Garland the pass to Smith. Misses from close range. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Atlanta Hawks. Only given up six here in this quarter. Barnes outside. Porter looking it over. He kicks it to Young. Lock at six. Atlanta again missing. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Garland with the screen for Kuzma. No good with the triple. Kuzma's gone one of four from the field. Young outside. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. George dishes to Young. The tray. The Hawks again can't hit. This is how it's been so far. He's missed every shot he's taken, and the team is suffering the consequences. Cunningham's shot is off. So it's Atlanta now. Here's Young. A 35-point game for him in the win against the Pistons in Detroit. And some of the passes he threaded through the defense were just incredible. He made it look so easy. Well, over the last couple seasons, Smitty, Paul George has shown growth as a playmaker. He has, Kevin. He's gotten much better at reading the defense and looking for the best shot available. Whether it comes from him or a teammate, it shows in his assist numbers. That free throw, no good. We know the league's cracking down on those dangerous plays that risk a player's health. Why was that less of a focus when you played? Uh, that's a great question. You know, I think it's smarter to approach the game this way. We, we don't want to have unnecessary injury because of guys maybe just taking it a little too far with the physicality. And he sinks the second. The rare guy who can do everything at both ends. Paul George gives you a chance to win every night. Garland, the pass to Anderson. Back to Garland. Lobbed up there for Anderson. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. Anderson against Bogdanovich. The three from George. Nailed from three-point land. George has got seven. A reliable jump shooter. Paul George's accuracy only goes up when he catches in rhythm. And with an update from the sideline, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found a temporary edge. But 
Now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And D.A., we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. KD, uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. They'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. The Hawks trail by 20. Kicks it to heel. Now, here's Okongwu. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Atlanta making some changes. Winslow's checked in for Bruno Fernando. And Jones subbed in for George. Detroit leading by 20. A drive by Garland. Now the pass to Claxton. One fifty-one left to play here in the second quarter. Getting himself to the rim. Anderson continually finds ways to impact the game. Healed the pass to Okongwu. Down low. And Okongwu slams it in. Explosive leaping ability allows him to play the five, even though he's a little undersized. Pass to Claxton. Vicious to Garland. From outside the arc. Good on the triple. Garland's got seven now in this quarter. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Healed with the bucket. Such a versatile player. Bondanovich does a great job reading the floor and finding his teammates. Anderson up top. Goodbye, Winslow. Let's go. And Winslow pulls it down. The Hawks trail by 21. Passes to Bogdanovich. 40 seconds left in the first half of the game. Garland against Teal. Shot clock at five. Jones kicks to Heal. Another three for Atlanta. And you've got to be up on healed especially when he's beyond the arc if not he'll burn and stolen by Bogdanovich he lobs up the alley pass oh what a pass and then he lays it in with the circus move mm, so smooth inside got a piece of it. the shot's good from Claxton Claxton's got his second basket of the night. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Thanks very much. Coach, it's early in the season, so what can you say about how things are going chemistry-wise so far? I love our guys. We have a great group of young men that are competing hard, and uh, it feels good because I know our guys are totally engaged and focused and giving us what they have. Dwayne, thanks a lot. Back to you. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. Hey folks, happy you joined us. The action tonight, a bit wild and a big deficit now for the Atlanta Hawks. I know teams love to rely on the three these days, but you gotta know when to get away from them. They didn't, at least throughout the first half. Hopefully they're making the adjustments, but sometimes teams just get stubborn. Okay, now let's take a look at the power rankings in the Eastern Conference early on. Taking a look at the Hawks, they've had some hiccups early on, but I don't think that takes away from the potential of this team. With their talent and coaching, they could easily mount a challenge for the top spot before it's over. That is more than enough of us. Let's send you back to the game. Kevin Harlan and crew with the second half.
And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Without question, George is playing his skills today. Yeah, and the bulk of his damage so far has come from the perimeter. A lot of threes early on. He's been vital to spacing the floor for them. Makes everything else you want to do easier to accomplish. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And on the floor for Nate McMillan starting the second half. Trey Young is out there with Paul George. Then it's Barnes. Then it's Otto Porter Jr. And it's Capella in at the five spot. Wanting to keep improving as a distributor, Young knows it's his role to move the rock. Here is Cunningham after the basket by Atlanta. Smith with a screen on George. Cunningham passes to Smith. Shot clock at six. Bridges with it and guarded by Capella. And the basket is good. Bridges has got his third basket of the night right there. Nimble inside play by Bridges, working his way to a close range shot. Back to Capella. And the jump by Capella. And the one hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Garland, great pass to set up the lay in. Garland's got 11. Another good play. This is how they built the lead, calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. Cunningham against George. Pass to Garland. This one for three. Rebounded by Capella. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. And Smitty, we know with Clint Capella, one of his great skills is his pick and roll ability. He is a great partner, Kevin, in the pick and roll set. Set solid screen, draws help defenders, finishes strong. Guards love having Clint as the roller for them. Now, here's Garland. 11 points in the game. And it's Otto Porter with the foul. That's foul number two for him. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. Here's Kuzma to the paint. The kick out to Cunningham. Four on the shot clock. And Detroit again with the bucket. That's three of four here to start the half. And so it's Young who brings it up for the Hawks. It the teardrop, and he gets the bucket. He's fearless. Trey Young knows he's probably going to take contact, and it doesn't matter at all. Cunningham looking it over. Got a piece of it. The Pistons need to get off a shot here. Kuzma can't get it to go. He looked just a little out of rhythm. He's still trying to establish consistency from there. Capella finds Young. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Young sets a screen for Barnes. It's the three-point bomb. Barnes has got himself on the board with three there. When Barnes has space to fire from deep, you usually just assume it's going in. Very dangerous from outside. Smith dishes to Garland. And Kuzma has it in the corner. That's good, and it's Garland with the assist. Kuzma's got his second basket of the night. Mono e mano. This is where it can get a little personal. Sometimes it's a matter of pride. Answering back with a three of his own. He's doing what he can do to pull them closer, but it's not enough. He needs more help. Cunningham inside. Defended by George. The offensive rebound. The Hawks trail by 16. On the wing, Barnes. Offline with his three. Detroit's gone one and two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. The pass to Garland. Cunningham outside. Over George. Cunningham's shot is off. 
missing that one helps out all the analytical guys from the mid-range. George passes to Porter. Capella with a screen on Cunningham. Back to Porter from downtown. Rebound, Detroit. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Bridges kicks to Kuzma. Garland dishes to Cunningham. To the middle, out to Kuzma. Smith sets the pick for Kuzma. And again, it's the Pistons missing. His inability to make shots has not brought this team down. That shows you their resourcefulness. Bridges passes to Smith. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Not a ball stopper on the wing. Bridges with the help. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Pistons? Smart ball handling from them in this one. Passing around to get ahead of the defense and putting it in the hands of ready shooters. And another thing, they continue to work it inside and score. It's clear their game plan is attacking the paint as much as possible. The Hawks trail by 19. Young pass to Bogdanovich. Outside, Jones. Young outside. There's the three. And that comes off the assist by Jones. Young's got five points now this quarter. And they've really gotten on track here in the second half. After that shaky start, the field goal percentage steadily climbing. They couldn't make anything in that first break. Smith with a screen on Bogdanovich. He doesn't hit that one. And it's the Hawks taking it the other way. The front office for the Pistons coming in from Oklahoma City. Their draft picks overall pretty good, making an immediate impact. Now, here is Young. Five points in the game. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Okay, nice job here in the second half. Field goal percentage is way up from what it was at halftime when it was just barely above 30%. And the Pistons draftees all showing starting caliber medal early on. And, you know, Steve, they're playing now with confidence. I mean, you can see it. Kevin, they couldn't wait for this season to start. They know this is a team poised to make that jump to contending for the playoffs. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for the Pistons. I really enjoy watching Trey Young play. He's got a sweet stroke, and he can dish it. Trey Young is a modern point guard. Now a timeout called by Detroit. the top distributors from last season. These guys always seem to find the open man. In the third spot, Trey Young. Very few guys pass the ball better than he did. I mean, he didn't just have eyes in the back of his head. 
it's almost as if he had him on both sides, too. Detroit leading by 13. Hudson with it. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Out to the wing. Fires for three. Rebounded by the Hawks. And yeah, that old adage about being too wide open, not a thing. He just missed it. Here's healed. The rebound by Anderson. Pistons have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. Runs in the pass to Claxton. Okongwu grabs the board. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. Smitty, you gotta love how the big man Okongwu is developing. Kevin, especially from a defensive perspective, he defends the rim with confidence. And I also like his shot selection. Now here's Brunson. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Well, the Hawks have their centerpiece. Trey Young is that guy for them. But now they have to figure out how to surround him. And for the Hawks, Smitty, their roster construction is something they are tinkering with right now. They're not in a bad spot. It's actually a good spot to be in as a franchise. They know the makeup and direction of the team, Kevin. Take a break. It's a Take matter a break. of finding the right Two formula. Shots. And the first one at the line is good. And when you look at the complete game of the Detroit Pistons, there are struggles on both ends of the floor, which I'm sure can feel discouraging at times. That one misses. And looking at the Pistons' recent performance break, which end would you want to see improve first? Kevin, I'd have to say defense. More stops means more chances in the open floor, and, and it would help them keep games competitive. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Brunson. Yeah, just not on the same page. Unfortunate, wasted possession. And Atlanta has possession. They trail by 11. Bridges against Young. Shoots over Bridges. It's tipped. This is where Bridges' wingspan is a factor, allowing him to reach out and get a piece of that shot. And Brunson, here we go. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to be on Trey Young. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Taking two shots. Shoot two. That one falls for Brunson. Both free throws, good for Brunson. We've got 22 seconds left to play in the third. I got yours, I got yours. Young against Bridges. How Young. Eight points for him. Takes the three. The shot misses. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. Pistons ahead. They lead by 13. And we're coming right back. Be sure to stay with us as we get started for the fourth quarter. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. 
Yeah, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? Execution. This is what you practice every day. These guys are professionals. Beautiful play. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. Kyle Kuzma is out there with Isaiah Stewart. Then it's Cunningham. Then it's Jalen Brunson. And it's Claxton in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's the group for Detroit right now. What a block by Clint Capella. Flying in with those long arms for the no, no, no. Bogdanovich passes to heel. Bogdanovich sets the pick for heel. Kicks it out to Bogdanovich. Good on the three-point shot. Bogdanovich has got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Yeah, these defenders had better start closing down on shooting. And Capella sends it back. And here's Bogdanovich. Pass to Capella. Up top Porter. Nice ball movement here by Atlanta. Capella sends a screen for Barnes. Six to shoot. A three from Bogdanovich. It's hauled in by Stewart. Stewart's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Guzma passes to Claxton. Stewart kicks to Cunningham. And Capella sends it back. Barnes with it. Now defended by Cunningham. In the corner, it's healed. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the other. Now here's Kuzma. Stewart with the screen on Barnes. And it's Otto Porter with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Time called here. The Pistons decide to talk it over. And with a fourth quarter push coming up here, the coach going over the game plan and these players rehydrating themselves with Gatorade, recharging their bodies, refocusing their minds, and getting that strategy down to close out the game. Looking at who's out there now for the Pistons. Jalen Smith, he's checked in for Nicholas Claxton. And it's Garland in for Isaiah Stewart. And a switch here also for Atlanta. George has checked in. Let's check in with our reporter, David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I got a chance to hear Dwayne Casey talk to his team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Now, here's Porter. Back to George. From the arc. Rebound by the Pistons. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Kuzma passes to Cunningham. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. Well, you look at the counting numbers for Cade Cunningham. He, he fills up a stat sheet. The key for him moving forward, though, efficiency. Shoot two. First one falls for him. And you talk about Cade's efficiency. Greg on a struggling team, that can be a challenge. Yeah, without great shooters around him, he's forced into taking tough shots or turnovers. And as the team improves, though, I think the percentages should come around. Bridges, he's checked in for Jalen Brunson. And he makes both free throws. They're doing a better job of working themselves to the line here in the second half. Heald finds Porter. Outside, George. There's the triple. And the three ball is good. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. And so it's Cunningham. He'll bring it up for Detroit. Six-point lead. Passes it to Smith. He dishes it to Garland. 
And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. That one is on heel. Well, this Hawks team can run into defensive issues. Don't have many perimeter stoppers, and the interior at times can be overwhelmed. Shoot, shoot. Throw good, Garland. And for Atlanta, Greg, on-ball defense can be a problem. Uh, the team knows it's their weak spot. Have solid post defenders, great offense, but they'll be limited until they figure it out defensively. All three throws good from Garland. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Pass to Capella. Cunningham against George. Make it 5 for 10 with him in that bucket. So far, George's competitive play has worked well. He's getting just about everything to fall. Locked up there for Cunningham. And what an alley -oop. Those two lead each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. And the pass to Capella. Capella with a screen on Cunningham. The 10-footer. It's stolen by Smith. Here's Garland. Cunningham outside. Ball's knocked loose. Paul George with the steal. On the wing, Porter. And George kicks to heel. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Impressive display of focus there from Hill. Never lost sight of the rim. Young's checked in for Jordan. And healed. No good on that one. It's been a little over a decade, Steve, since the Pistons last made real noise in the playoffs. They've had a tough run of it lately, but rebuilding periods are never pretty, Kevin. They just need time to get back to contender status. Atlanta calls timeout. Now, here is Young. Is a three, drops in the train. Well, those are starting to add up, guys. Of their last five baskets, three have been triple. Garland against Young. Garland, the pass to Cunningham. Smith sets the pick for Cunningham. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. If you're Cunningham, Keep going inside. Good things will happen. At the line for Detroit, K. Cunningham. At the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And they haven't let points get away from them at the line tonight. That's always something that will allow a coaching staff to breathe a little easier. He makes one of two that time. You know, this team leans on Kay Cunningham for so many things, and he's built to carry the load. Young with the ball. Garland picks him up. Here's Porter. Rebound, Detroit. Kuzma's got four rebounds now tonight. He kicks to Garland. Pass to Cunningham. Kuzma outside. Again, the miss by the Pistons. This is the shot they wanted to get. Right guy, right spot, wrong result. Capella with a screen on Cunningham. And a deep three from Young. And air balls the triple. That one was way off. 
Goes up on the block. And Cunningham gets it to go on the assist by Garland. Cunningham's got nine points now in just the second half. Time call here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. Atlanta making a switch here. George is checked in. Capella with a screen on Cunningham. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. That's just strength right there. Capella taking it and working through it all. good from Capella. You know, in most seasons throughout his career, Clint Capella has shot a higher percentage from the field than from the line. 137 left in the fourth quarter. Kuzma with a screen on George. Cunningham with it. George picks him up. Kuzma, that's good. One side of a great playmaker hitting his man in stride. George looking over the floor. It's Porter outside. He can't get that one. And the Pistons now going the other way. Earlier in the game, they held a 25-point lead. Cunningham passes to Garland. Kicks to Smith. Five on the clock. In the corner, it's Bridges. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. And so it's Young who brings it up for Atlanta. Seven-point differential. Bob pass to Capella. An emphatic L.U. jam. A proven veteran. Capella doesn't get nervous about taking big-time shots for his squad. Smith finds Garland. Back to Smith. And it's Smith finishing it off. They're in total command of this game with time starting to run out. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. Here are the Pistons with the ball. They lead by seven. Cunningham outside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's on Clint Capella. He's the kind of player every team is looking for. Cunningham understands both how to move the ball and how to create for himself. Kay Cunningham taking two shots. And he does get the second one. And that stretches their lead to eight. Atlanta calls timeout. They're trailing by eight. Nine seconds left in the game. Here's what's your take. Licking their wounds. It hasn't come together for them tonight. They are left picking up the remains of their game plan. Better luck next time. Heald kicks to Winslow. Oh, drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket. And he'll go to the line to shoot three. 
Justice is a do-it-all kind of player, but something you'll see from him every night is toughness and physicality. Winslow taking three shots. The second one drops, and that narrows the gap to seven. And he nails the third. And so is Detroit with the W. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now.